In this video, I'm going to demonstrate cost estimation using account analysis. Currently, we're producing 60,000 cases, and our total direct materials at that production level is 126,000. Direct labor is 105,000, variable overhead of 92,400, and total fixed manufacturing overhead is 144,000. One of the things they do ask us is to calculate at the current production level the cost per unit. So before we even look at changing that production level, let's go ahead and tackle that first. So down here to the left, I've just added up direct materials, direct labor, variable overhead, and fixed overhead that I mentioned before. They total up to total manufacturing costs at the level of 60,000 units of 467,400. If we then divide that by the production level of 60,000 units, we get a total per unit manufacturing cost of $7.79. Now you'll also notice that I went ahead and did a per unit cost for direct materials, for example, 126,000 divided by 60,000, currently at $2.10 direct material cost. Direct labor, 105,000 divided by 60,000, currently at $1.75. Variable overhead, 92,400 divided by 60,000, currently at $1.54. And fixed overhead, 144,000 divided by 60,000, currently at a level of $2.40. Now, this problem didn't necessarily, not part of the core problem, ask us to do that, but some of this information is going to be helpful as we make a prediction at a different volume. For example, they tell us that we're expecting the volume to significantly drop from 60,000 to 48,000. So let's go ahead and start our predictions. Again, why did I go ahead and calculate this per unit cost? If you remember the core basis of variable cost and fixed cost is variable costs are expected to stay the same per unit and change in total. So that would be our expectation. However, we would have thought that this $2.10 would have carried over also at 48,000 units, and then we just multiply that times 48,000 to get the total. However, beyond the volume changing, sometimes other things change. And in fact, they're telling us that not considering volume changes, we're expecting those direct material costs to increase by 30%. So irrespective of the volume, maybe the vendor just is charging us more. It's just inflationary or we couldn't, it, there's a shortage of the material, so we're just having to pay more. So I'm going to take that per unit cost of $2.10 and increase it by 30%. Here I just multiplied it times 130%. And the new direct materials cost per unit is going to be $2.73. Similar for direct labor, it was $1.75. Normal rules variable cost would have said carry over that $1.75 and again multiply it times 48,000, but they've instructed us that those costs are going to increase by 6%. So I'm multiplying that times 106 to get not a nice even round number, but 1.855. Again, something's changed irrespective of the volume. Maybe our, we decided to give a raise to our employees or they negotiated at a higher wage than we anticipate. What else is changing? They also indicate that fixed manufacturing overhead is going to increase by 13.5%. Normally, fixed overhead does not change in total. So things like rent or supervisor salaries, we wouldn't expect that to change based upon the production level. But again, sometimes things change outside of that. Maybe we lease the facilities and they just, her landlord said, we're increasing your rent. Um, maybe again, we talked about wage increases. Our supervisors also demanded higher wages. So we're gonna take that 144,000 and increase it by 13.5%. I accomplished that by multiplying it times 113.5. It brings us up to a new total fixed overhead at a lower production volume of 163,440. So there I was just dealing with a lot of the things that I wouldn't have expected to change that are going to change because of other situations going on. So let's look at the rest. So I'll go back to direct materials. We said now it's $2.73 per unit times a production level of 48,000 means direct materials at a volume of 48,000 is 131,040. Similar for direct labor, 
Now our per unit cost is 1.855 times 48,000. Our new direct labor cost is predicted to be 89,040. Variable overhead, we didn't say anything about it, so we expect it to follow the normal rules. The variable cost per unit is going to stay at $1.54 times 48,000 gives us total variable overhead of 73,920. We already calculated that fixed overhead, even though normally we've thought it would have stayed the same, it's increasing to 163,440. If we add up all four of those total manufacturing costs, we get a total manufacturing cost of 48,000 of 457,440. And if again, like our last requirement, ask us to also tell what that is per unit, we would divide that 457,440 divided by 48,000 units and it would bring it up to $9.53 per unit at 48,000 units.